PK in the universe. Today I'm going to give my thoughts on a film that I've really enjoyed in the past and I just recently revisited again and that is Dread. And this um, particular version of Dread is the it comes with both the 3D and standard Blu-ray and it's all on one disc. At the time of this recording you can get this movie for about I don't know, like 10 bucks or less on eBay. It stars uh, Carl Urban, who um, people know from Star Trek, of course, as McCoy, but, he was, but he's recently been in um, this TV show on Amazon Prime called The Boys, where he plays the character of, of Billy Butcher, which is also a comic book. Yeah, and of course, Dread is based on a comic book. The others, um, then there's a, there's a character who plays like his partner. Can't remember her name off the top of my head. The character's name is Anderson, and she's a trainee per se and she's like the most powerful psychic they've ever encountered kind of thing so makes it really interesting and then the main antagonist is played by Lena Headey who many people know from Game of Thrones she was also Sarah Connor in the Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles which is where I mostly know her from and I really I really enjoyed the Sarah Connor Chronicles the story is of course if you know anything about the I've never actually read any of the Dread comics to be honest which I know some people who are comic book fans will be very offended by that. I'm sorry, I just never have. I've never seen the Stallone movie either, honestly, and I've heard really negative things about it, but from what I understand, this is the most faithful adaptation in a film of the comics so far. But anyways, it takes place in this very dystopian world, and um, this like city of like 800,000 people, excuse me, 800 million people? Maybe that's the number? Yeah, unemployment's incredibly high. The, the character of Dread is much like he's a he's what you call a fascist anti-hero um, so basically the future is very lawless and the only thing that's standing between chaos and is the judges he's taking this new partner out and I don't want to give a lot away in the story but uh, long story short um, Mama who's played by Lena Headey is like this former prostitute turned drug lord she's basically in charge of this building that's like 200 feet or 200 floors I guess you'd call anyways the building gets put into lockdown while these two judges are here and it's on basically you know what I mean like she's like she's the manufacturer of this drug called slow-mo slow-mo basically in a nutshell it makes you see the world at like one percent you know like you pop one of these slow-mo things and everything slows down to like one percent and this is the primary reason why I think it's great to watch this in 3D. Watching slow motion scenes in 3D is awesome. And that's what I love about the 3D of Dread 3D. That's, in fact, why I'm calling this video, you know, my thoughts on Dread 3D and not just Dread. Because that is, this is the version I prefer. This is the version I actually saw in the theaters. And it's what I've viewed on my 3D TV. And, I mean, I've seen the standard Blu-ray version, which is also fine, but... Yeah, something about watching slow motion in 3D is just incredible. And if you have a chance, if you have a 3D TV and a 3D Blu-ray player or a PS4, I would highly recommend checking that out. It's awesome. The character of Dread is interesting. He, you know, is played by Carl Urban. You never see him take his helmet off ever throughout this, which is says a lot about the character and, you know, and how, you know, you can tell Carl Urban clearly doesn't have an ego because I can see a lot of actors thinking of the idea of never taking their mask or helmet off would really upset them because you know who's going to know you're under the mask i think carl urban does an excellent job in this film i mean he's got the real raspy voice or whatever but not like so christian bale dark knight raspy but like raspy like a you know i don't know like a buzzsaw or something like that it, it's he does it he pulls it off really nicely and uh Lena Headey is a really great villain in this. Uh, she does a fantastic. She's just very sinister and like cold and calculated, and it's it's a good film. The best way I could describe this film, it's like a video game. It's like Dread is a video game character, and these it's just shoot, shoot, kill, go, shoot, shoot, kill, go. A little bit of stealth, shoot, kill, go. You know, figure out something shoot kill go that's the whole movie it's just nothing but mindless fun action i mean if you're looking for some mindless fun action dread is the movie for you obviously i don't i don't really give traditional ratings or anything but i have to say i really enjoyed this movie and i totally recommend it and i think it's worth checking out anyways what are your thoughts have you guys seen the movie dread have you seen it in 3d 
Um, did you like the comics? Um, comment below. I'd love to hear what you had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.